Kitty. And I'm Jennifer. And we're the O'Neill Sisters, and we're going to show you how to make crystal wrapped earrings. These earrings are super easy to wear and really easy to make. We'll show you every step. We'll show you what tools and materials you'll need, how to wrap the crystals onto the hoops, and a little trick to line them up. These are one of our most popular projects, so we made kits for them. We've got lots of colors available on our website, runningwithsisters.com. So thanks for watching, and make sure you subscribe so you won't miss out on future videos. Let's get started. To make the crystal wrapped earrings, you need two wire hoop earrings. Ours are silver and they're 30 millimeters in diameter. You'll also need 26 gauge wire in silver. For beads, you need 40 crystal bicone beads. These are three millimeters. And for tools, all you need are wire cutters. Before we get started, I want to show you one of our finished earrings. This is the part of the hoop that goes in your ear and then it hooks through the clasp end. And we're going to show you how to wire on all of these beautiful bicones all the way around using a simple piece of 26 gauge wire. So to do that, we started by cutting a 13 inch piece of wire. And I'm going to give myself about a one inch tail and I'm going to hold that on top of the earring hoop like that. So this is the clasp end. I'm going to start on the clasp end. I'm going to hold that in place and I'm going to pull that wire through the hoop three times. And what that does is give us a, a nice little place to start. That's two. Here's three. And I'm going to press those loops together. This wire is super malleable, so it's easy to work with and easy to press together. And I'm just going to leave that tail, and then I'm going to start feeding on beads. So let me grab one of my bicones, feed that on the end of my wire, and I like to just pull the wire up like that up to my hoop, and then hold that bicone up against the hoop like that. The bicone has sort of these flat edges that come together. That's the bicone part, it's two cones. I'm holding one of the flat sides against the, the hoop, and then I'm gonna pull the wire through that opening of the hoop two times. That's one, that's two. And then I've sort of pressed this down, and we'll keep pressing these bicones together toward the clasp end of our earring as we go. I'm gonna go ahead and feed on another bead. Just pull that right up to my hoop. And I'm going to hold that bead in place with the one hand. Take this end and pull that wire through that opening of the hoop two times. One, two, and you'll see that these start to line up as I press them together. See how they're lining up? It's sort of magical that way. And I'm going to keep feeding on beads here. This is a wonderful project to do with girlfriends, like a, a group of friends at a party or something, because it doesn't require a lot of tools. It doesn't require a lot of um, special jewelry making skills that you need to know ahead of time. So if you're the jewelry maker of your group, you can easily teach the rest of your friends how to make their own beautiful pair of earrings, and at the end of the night they can go home with the best party favor in the world, something they made themselves. One, two. So I'm gonna press my bicones down. I'm gonna scoot them along toward the end of my, the clasp end of my hoop. And you just do that by scooting them along. I find it easier to start in the middle like I did and then move the beads. And because the wire is soft, they press together really easily. So you can see it's starting to all line up really nicely. And now I can keep beading. I just have two more beads to feed on here. It gets easier as you get closer to the end here. One, two. Slide on my last bead. And I'm going to go one, two, and I'm actually going to do one more wrap just like we did at the beginning so that there are three wire wraps at each end. And uh, that'll just make it look symmetrical and it'll also 
make them extra secure. I'm going to go ahead and push all my bicones together and I'm leaving a little bit of space here instead of beating all the way to the end because you do need room to put the earring into your actual earlobe. <laughs> so don't make the mistake of beating all the way to the end. There we go. Now I'm going to trim my wire and I'm using my flush cutters or wire cutters. These have a flush side and a sort of an angled side. I'm going to use that flush side against my work. I'm going to turn it over so you can see here. And I'm doing that so that the cut in the wire ends up being straight across. If you use the pointy side, um, you'll end up with a little pointed cut, and we don't want that. I'm going to trim my other end the same way. Be careful not to cut through your work. And if any of your beads are flipping around to the inside, like they could, um, they move around a little bit, you can just adjust them very easily. Just twist them a little bit and rotate them around so that the beads sit kind of like they're lined up like a train all the way around the outside of your hoop. And they clasp just like that. And there are beautiful crystal wrapped earrings. Mm -hmm.